So it is day eight of our prep for the world flight. We were due to be flying out today, but we've postponed till tomorrow morning. What we are gonna be doing though, is flying over this afternoon to Kern Valley, which is where we are gonna be arriving in three months to have our three day weekend party, which actually guys, if you haven't got your ticket, they are for sale on the Fly Beyond Borders website. Anyway, so we're having this arrival party, so we thought it'd be so good to leave from the exact same place. So we like can fly out, fly around the world and then fly back onto the same runway. So that is why we're going there today. We're gonna to camp overnight and uh, yeah, head off first thing as the sun is rising tomorrow, which means we'll be flying over the States on Monday, meaning we hopefully will get to catch the full solar eclipse that's happening in the afternoon. But we've got a few things to sort out before we go. We're just getting the last few things prepped on the plane. Rich is helping us with the electronics. We're trying to power the tracking device so you guys can track where we'll be. Um, yeah, again, on the Fly Beyond Borders website, there'll be a live map and you can see the plane moving across. So you'll always be able to keep an eye on us and see that we're safe. Oh, other than that, I think we're almost ready. We're just gonna go and get some snacks as well. Buy some snacks and yeah. I'm ready, I am ready. Guys, this is our issue. Yeah, 24, look at him, steady. 24, we've got 24 steady volts out, but it's just not charging anything, he's using multiple make any sense. cigarette light chargers. Okay guys, I'm just testing the tracking device, I've just plugged it in here to the car, and if you go on the website, you can see that you can actually track where we are, our location, which is pretty epic. There we are, guys. Yeah, check it. And then as we take off and start flying, you'll be able to track us all the way across the stakes, across here, and then once we've figured out our route down here, and then this is quite a long flight over the sea. This is probably our sketchiest flight here. And then back up through South America, and we stop up in Florida and then back. So kind of doing more than around the world. Landing in 81 days. We need, we need food for the entire day and oh, we might buy a little pop-up tent so we can camp in Kern Valley. And then, yeah, I don't know. Just, just need to make sure we got the supplies. It is a warm day today, guys. Very warm. I said to JP when I woke up this morning, every morning I'm waking up, even though I didn't get a lot of sleep, I'm waking up really excited, like really pumped still. I've just been on this constant high for like four or five days. I'm hoping that I am like this excited the entire trip. I th also, I also think JP's slowly getting excited. I think he's been had a very high stress few months of just like getting everything finished. He's been working a lot, lot harder on the prep and build up for months. Um, so I think he's, but I think he'll relax into it all. Um, yeah, he's cracking a few more smiles. He's cheering up a bit. Oh, it's gonna be such a good trip. Thanks for all the support guys. I'm reading all the comments and uh, it seems that you guys are as hyped about this as I am. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned. We are copying all our important documents and we've got this amazing USB stick to put them on. Check this out, guys. Darth Vader as a USB stick, what? We just had this realization today <laughs> that we are not on the ball. I don't know what it is, but both of us completely forgot to get camping gear. We just need that pop-up tent. Which maybe is pretty much the only reason we went to Walmart. Yeah. Like we could have gotten the snacks anywhere. All I could think about, oh, all I could think about was, um, all I could think about was food. And yeah, it was just not thinking about anything else. So we're gonna quickly pop back to Walmart and then we'll go to the airport. Okay, let's try this again. What are we like? What are we like? Guys, just in the camping section, just out like this, not even in a cabinet. You can literally just shoplift. A hundred rounds of 12 gauge shotgun, shotgun cartridges. I just, 
twenty dollars. Let's do it. How I feel about it. No. Like this is not a way to keep people safe. Turned out getting yoga mats was a lot cheaper than getting camping mats. This is like 14 bucks versus 50. And then some little sleeping bag, warm weather sleeping bags, and a little tent. Okay, we just need to get all this in the plane now. Find somewhere for it. I got a massive bunch of bananas. Thanks Richard. Ready to leave Tracy Airport. This has been, this has become our home this week. This has been uh, very random, but awesome. Awesome that we found Richard. He's an absolute legend. Um, if you ever need a ferry tank fit in your aeroplane, he's a guy. <laughs> Probably quite a niche, a niche thing. I think so. <laughs> but just general aviation work, he's just a master at what he does. Yeah. If you have a plane and you need it worked on, he's your guy. Right, time's ahead, so we're gonna go pick up something in Fresno, and then, hopefully, go and camp in Kern Valley. Got my pump. If you missed, uh, if you missed yesterday's vlog, I think it would have been. We fitted the, the tank with this manual pump, so this is for me uh, in flight to help pump the fuel. Well, we're not using that today. But that's not until, we're not gonna need that until we fly across the North Atlantic, right? Yeah. November 210, uniform just airborne out of Tracy. Uh, would like flag following to uh, Fresno, that's Fox Run Alpha Tango. Guys, I'm doing a test. I've just plugged my headset into my vlog camera. I tried it on the GoPro, I tried it on the phone. Now trying out the vlog camera to see whether I can chat to you guys in flight. So yeah, hopefully this works. Tomorrow, the plan is we're going to set off really early because we're going to try and make it as far across the country as possible towards the east coast. So it's going to be a mega day, seeing like almost the entire states from the air and hopefully kind of cross the path of the total eclipse. Um, yeah, if we can pull that off, oh my gosh, it's going to be so epic. Right, we're in the little, uh, what do you call this place? Fixed base, fixed base operator. Basically, it's just like a nice lounge at the airport. Just helping myself to a cheap little coffee. And I think we're getting straight back on the plane because we picked up what we needed to, which is JP's friend Matt, who's going to join us across the Atlantic as his uh, immersion suit, dry immersion suit. Guys, check this out. Snapchat Spectacles first person on the takeoff. there's hardly any red in our way right now and that'll change as well as we keep climbing we're at 8,000 feet now I wonder what the worst food to eat in a plane would be Taco Bell yeah something really smelly yeah Are you gonna 
like circle down or are you just gonna we're gonna have to fly around like that because i came quite high over the mountains uh when we come through next time i'll probably come well luckily that's like quite a distance so we just come over the mountains so we start our descent no. We have arrived in Kern Valley, yes, bro. That was crazy. An amazing <laughs> landing, amazing. I don't know if you remember, after VidCon we did that um, road trip up to Lake Tahoe, and on the way, on the first night, we just parked up the buses over there. There's the spot over there, guys. That's where we had the buses parked up. This is just such a cool location for a festival. This is where everyone's going to be with their tents. We're probably going to have a big tent as well with some music and just so, oh, so many, so many cool plans. If you haven't checked out the uh, the tickets for the summit. There's still tickets, bro. Nice. There's still some tickets left. Go and check it out. It's uh, linked on the Fly Beyond Borders website. But yeah, if you're in California or want to fly out here to welcome us back, you better head over and grab the last tickets. That's 81 days from now. Yeah. We only realized the other day, we're, it's almost flying around the world in 80 days, which is obviously what Phileas Fogg did. So this is our tent for the night. Got a little warm weather sleeping bags in there. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's looking like it's gonna be a clear night. So we're not gonna put the, the cover on the tent. Obviously we can get up quickly if it starts raining. But this is, uh, this is an amazing first night of the trip, camping. I think that's starting off on the right foot rather than staying in some swanky hotel. Keeping it real. JP's just got into the tent. I'm gonna go over to the plane and try and get some star lapses. And uh, yeah, then it's probably important to get some sleep because literally like 6 a.m. we're getting up and we are setting off to the beginning of our flight. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to sleep. I'm so excited. This is just ridiculous. I can't literally can't remember the last time I was this excited. It's like 10 Christmases rolled into one. Um, yeah, if I manage to successfully pull off these star lapses, you can check them out now.
next week. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life and live the adventure. Bang.